everyone. Thank you for joining me for another one of our E15 Expressway web chats with retailers. Today, I am joined by Lance Klatt. He's the executive director of Minoco, fabulous independent retailer in my hometown, the Twin Cities. Lance, thank you for joining me. Thank you, Emily. I appreciate uh, spending some uh, great Friday afternoon time with you. That's right. Some good virtual quality time together. Um, Many of our members are familiar with Minoco, but many are not. So for their benefit, let's start out. Tell me a little bit about Minoco, about your retail footprint and the customers that you serve. Minoco is a brand of gasoline uh, for the, that was created for the members of the Minnesota Service Station Convenience Store Association. Uh, allows the members of the association to control their own brand of fuel without any limitations. Minoco brand also allows our retailers to sell any fuel, such as E15, which is under 88, E85 and E30, without any, I call them limitations or there's no governor on it. So nearly eight years ago, um, a lot of our retailers, we have 41 retailers now, um, are now branded Minoco because eight years ago, the, we had a lot of issues with the major oil companies allowing us to sell E15, E85, and E30 under the canopies. You guys are really one of the pioneers when it comes to embracing E15 on at 88. And we've partnered for many years through Prime the Pump. Tell me how adding unleaded 88 to your fuel choices, how it's improved the sales for your retailers, and how it's changed the customer experience, and what the customer really likes about this product. When we first introduced E15, uh, again, we're one of the first ones. Uh, we called it unleaded plus, if you remember that. Um, and since then, it's been called, we've done some trials of the E-Blend plus, and uh, unleaded 88 is where we, we finished. So uh, since we were the first to offer on Leta Plus, which is the E15, um, the spread between ethanol and petroleum pricing was much larger economically. So we saw, you know, those are the days we saw RINs uh, being 80, 85 cents a gallon uh, on ethanol. So Minoco sites had anywhere from a 5 to 10 cent delta uh, discount lower than 87 E10 product. Basically, all the volume of fuel they sell, 50% of that volume is E15 on Leta 88. So overall in, the, in Minoco stores today, nearly 30% of our overall volume is E15, which is I think much higher than what we see in any other um, part of the country or region of the country or with any other retailer. Uh, when the stores first put Unleta Plus, which is the E15, we called it E85, E30, and um, the overall store volumes increased by around 20% overall, which meant stronger inside store sales uh, for the for the stores, which is phenomenal, increasing it. So basically, if you increase your foot traffic, you're going to be more successful. We have worked together for many years, uh, you and I, but also Growth Energy and Minoco, and and through Prime the Pump. Um, you know, share a little bit about how Growth has helped get more E15 to market. What in particular are the things that we've done in our partnership that have really helped? Uh, set Minoco up for success. I, I do want to say this though, first of all, uh, going back to the Minoco um, point of view here is that simply it's, it's, it was referenced in an issue of one of your American ethanol magazines that Minoco is a brand that ethanol built. I don't know if you remember that, that story or not on Minoco. And it's so true. Um, I do want to talk about the strong leadership from Growth Energy, the founders, which you guys founders of Prime the Pump and ethanol organizations catapulted the Minoco brand. And again, eight years later, we have the 41 locations, and I'm proud to say that we we're one of the first to bring unleaded 88 um, to the marketplace. Um, but also at the same time is I'm looking forward to the next eight years of what this can do for our marketplace and for the industry. And um, as you and I talked in, in the past, and you hear me talk about is, um, you know, I think that at some point, oil and gas will be the alternative fuel. Because as you know, in the past, ethanol was always the alternative, alternative fuels, right? And you and I have said this before, I think oil and the gas industry will be the alternative fuel at some point. But going back, um, our industry, um, or the association of South MSA members, we continue to try and figure out how to bring another 88 to more of our marketplace all the time. Uh, a lot of our independent retailers would like to sell E15, but as you know, the, the, um, the struggles with the cost of the infrastructure. And going back to um, you know, a, a question about, you know, what can growth energy do in the future? Um, you know, you guys do a great job and you continue to be a great voice on the Hill for us retailers. Um, you continue to support and fighting the opportunity to, to be able to sell E15, um, even out of E10 infrastructure. I'm sure you guys have had some meetings with the White House and had meetings with 
the EPA, you know, trying to be able to sell E15 or the E10 infrastructure. Um, really in conclusion though, Emily, um, you, your team, growth energy, you guys continue to be an industry leader and it's only a matter of time that um, again, that we say that oil and gas uh, will be the alternative fuel. We need to do this right now. It's your tomorrow. It's our tomorrow. Thank you. Well, Lance, thank you. I like thinking of the future when we are the norm and we are the standard ethanol and oil and gas is the alternative. So I, we look forward to get continuing to get creative with you uh, and making sure that we can accelerate the growth um, as quickly as we possibly can. So thank you for your partnership. Thank you for your time. And I hope we do this again soon. Absolutely. Thank you. And I appreciate everything Growth Energy continues to do for our industry, for the ethanol industry. And we need to keep supporting our, our local farming communities to get the message across. And thank you so much for this opportunity, the brand that ethanol built. Thank you to everyone out in the ethanol industry.